A former Davis Cup player, Richardson, coached Radukanu for two years, at youth level. He linked up with the teenage star, again in July on a short-term deal, which covered the US Open. Prior to Richardson, the 18-year-old had been coached, for three years by Nigel Sears, who stepped aside, after Radukanu reached, the round of 16 at Wimbledon. Emma has rocketed up, the WTA rankings, since her brilliant victory, at the US Open. She began the Grand Slam, as a qualifier ranked 150th in the world, and has now risen to world number 22. The Briton revealed, she was looking for a coach with WTA experience, although she said she did not have one in mind, and would not come to a decision, until the end of the season. Emma selected a short list about WTA experience, where Patrick Maratoglu and Esteban Carroll are take places in that short list. A big name is Patrick Maratoglu. If Emma wants to fulfill her dreams, of becoming one of the best tennis players, in the world, Patrick Maratoglu would be the perfect option. The Frenchman, one of the most successful tennis coaches, of all time, has worked with Serena Williams since 2012. He has helped the icon, to three Wimbledon titles, three US Open titles, a pair of French Open, and Australian Open victories, and an Olympic gold medal. Maratoglu also has a reputation for working, with up-and-coming talents, including Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova and Coco Gauff. Another big name is Esteban Carroll. Esteban Carroll is known best as the coach, who transformed the fortunes of British tennis player, Joanna Conta. While working with the Spaniard, Conta rose from outside the top 100, in the world to the top 10, in just over a year. Carroll also has links, with the Lawn Tennis Association. He was hired to work, at one of the organization's flagship academies in 2019, although he did quit just over a year later. Nonetheless, Carroll's association with British tennis, may put him in a good position, to become Radu Kanu's new coach.